The Small Business Administration has crews on the ground in nine different states right now, helping people recover from natural disasters, including here at home. More than 10 months after Hurricane Ian struck, there's a reason for that, and it's the first time in the agency's history they've had boots on the ground this long. We continue to be on the ground, and I don't see us going anywhere anytime soon. We've got some long work to do. So. Calling it a complete reimagining to how the Small Business Administration responds to disasters, agency leader Francisco Sanchez testified in a congressional hearing held in Fort Myers that the SBA has made significant changes while on the ground in Southwest Florida. Because we got that bureaucratic red tape out of the way, we were able to put an additional $38 million on the ground to disaster survivors that needed most. The SBA has given out nearly $2 billion in loans since the storm struck Southwest Florida back in September. But lifelong Sanibel resident Chauncey Goss testified that the loan process through the SBA is what he calls broken. I've talked to many people um, about SBA, and I, I do not know anyone who actually has a loan from SBA. It is just it is amazing how many people applied and said the process absolutely threw us off and we gave up. Sanchez agreed more work needs to be done. He asked for help from Congress. He says much of the problem is that right now, if someone is recovering from Hurricane Ian and gets a loan from SBA and a grant from FEMA, that can be considered a duplication of benefits. So a disaster survivor become very weary. Do I want this program? Or do I want that program in my violation of the law? He's asking Congress to change the law to allow people to get more money for recovery. Ryan Kruger, Fox 4.